So I think you know what this is, besides a very good day for me, and that's a performance and price to performance comparison between these cards. Now we've got the RX 480, the GTX 980, um, the 1060 and the 1070. The 1070 is mostly here just to show you what that extra money can get you in terms of both value for money and performance numbers. So and they don't focus necessarily, it's mostly on these ones, and the ones we'll actually be using to test the Strix 1060, the MSI Gaming X uh, 1070, the uh, Zotac Amp Edition 980, and the Reference RX 480. And don't worry, I have uh, you know accounted for the specific fact that these are overclocked cards, and this one is a reference design, and those sort of things, so don't worry about that. Um, but uh, yeah, let's get on with it. Now of course I could test a few hundred games on these cards, um, but to keep the video concise, relatively entertaining, uh, and still informative but not, you know, 20 hours long, um, I'm going to be using the five games that I use on a regular basis to test all these graphics cards anyway. Although I have actually retested the RX for AC with a new driver. I actually ended up testing all the graphics cards again, so don't worry, all the results are as up to date as possible. Um, because obviously there was a, I think, like 3% performance gain or something like that. So I've retested the RX for AT and done uh, 1440p and 4K results as well, just to give a, a, an, an even comparison. Um, and I've retested the 980 as well with the latest drivers. So, um, with that said, we're using 3D Mark at 1080p, 1440p, and 4K like usual. It's obviously a very repeatable test and, and one that you can very easily do. And we're using Unigen Heaven, and I'll splash up the setting somewhere. But just to explain why the, these aren't the sort of preset, like extreme setting. First of all, the preset settings don't run at 1080p specifically. Um, you have to, uh, you know, use a custom setting. Um, and the reason I use these very specific ones is because I actually use these settings on laptops as well so that you can compare between, uh, for example, a 980 desktop graphics card and a 980M laptop so uh, you can have a, a good comparison of performance there. Um, same with GTA. Everything is on pretty much very high. Uh, the only There's only maybe four settings in the full list of 50 um, that you can push up by one but otherwise it's on very high um, and that runs at 1080p, 1440p and 4k as does Unigen Heaven. And we're using Doom on Ultra with AX TSAA, it's just the Ultra preset, again 1080p, 1440p and 4k. Uh, and we also use Dirt Rally again on the Ultra preset with ATX MSAA um, and these cards are all running their stock frequencies. so. Um, you know, these cards are obviously OC and, uh, you know, they're running in like OC mode and stuff like that. Um, but they've not been aftermarket overclocked by myself, mostly because I'm terrible. So, um, yeah, I hope that, uh, that gives you enough of an idea. If you've got any questions, feel free to leave them down below. Um, but to make it clear, because I've seen a lot of that, especially in the Reddit PC Master Race uh, subreddit, I'm not paid by any of these companies. So it's purely just if, uh, if there's something wrong here, it's because I'm an idiot, not anything else. So the results are pretty much to be expected. The 1070 wins fairly hands down in all of the tests. The RX for AC, because it's the reference design, is uh, coming in last in pretty much all of the tests as well. Obviously these are DirectX 11, not DirectX 12 or Vulcan titles, as I'll explain later. And uh, except for in, I believe, GTA, where the 980 uh, beat the 1060 at 1440p but lost at uh, you know 1080p, um, the 980 generally comes uh, you know a little bit higher than the 1060 and the 1060 uh, sort of sits in the middle there in between the 980 and the RX 480. Um, obviously in terms of uh, the specific cards I am using the Strix uh, 1060 so the performance numbers may be higher than your average sort of, uh, you know, founders edition or reference type card uh, and the 1070 is the Gaming X model so again that's a pre-overclock card as is the 980. So I'm not massively surprised at the results here. Obviously the 1070 is going to be the best performing card because it's the most expensive. Uh, and actually technically, even though this is lined up in roughly value, in fact it's pretty much value for money, um, and roughly performance as well, um, in DX12 and Vulcan games, which I didn't have a chance to properly test because it's a massive pain and you, I, just, I will do some performance testing with DX12, but uh, for now you can refer to uh, this Reddit's um, result. Uh, but basically the RX480 actually sits between the 1060 and the 1070 for uh, DX12 and uh, Vulcan results a lot of the time. So it's a very impressive card, especially considering that it's actually £100 cheaper than this Strix uh, 1060 specifically. Um, and as I said, I have accounted for the fact that this is a Strix 1070, uh, 1060 and that this is a, a Gaming X um, 1070 as well. So in terms of pound per FPS per second, uh, you know, 
pound per FPS. Um, you have to pay uh, three pounds and 24 pence for your frame per second on uh, the MSI card or the 1070. The Strix 1060, I'm using my cheat sheet by the way, is uh, two pounds and 91 pence. The, uh, uh, the 980 is uh, this specific one. Again, it's kind of hard to find right now, so it's uh, two pounds and 73, with the RX 480 coming in at uh, a considerable lowest of uh, two pounds and 37 pence, which is obviously uh, about 60p less than the 1060 and about a pound less than the uh, 1070. And obviously in terms of actual FPS numbers to give you an idea, um, this, th uh, these numbers were calculated from the 1080p Doom results, um, but it still gives you uh, a 1080p Dirt Rally results, sorry, um, which give you a nice spread. But uh, basically the uh, RX 480 was getting 91 FPS, whereas this was getting 145. So you're not actually getting double your FPS, despite the fact that this, uh, this card actually costs about double the uh, reference RX 480. And obviously the aftermarket RX 480s will be getting better performance um, anyway because they'll be overclocked and have better cooler designs so either way if you're looking for the best uh, DX12 card um, necessarily especially for the price the RX480 is a fantastic shout and it's still great for DX11 games as well uh, even though performance wise it's technically the slowest on the table for DX12, uh, DX11 games um, but again it's still the cheapest on the table by a decent margin to a lot of these um, if you are planning on picking up a 1060, if you were going for one of the cheaper ones that obviously has a better value for money and a lot closer to the RX 480, um, especially, especially considering the DX11 performance results. But um, the, the thing with the 980, which is still a fantastic card, and if you have one of these, don't worry about it, it's still awesome, um, is that because these are now the last generation driver support for things, um, especially newer games, will be dwindling away. So if you are planning on buying a new card, I would uh, recommend if you're desperate to go on the uh, green team side, a 1060, which is going to be fairly similarly priced, will perform fairly similarly and uh, have a little bit better driver support going into the future. So uh, you get better TDP, you get better uh, temperatures, you also get better uh, power usage as well because this one uses two 8 pins, whereas this one uses only one. Um, in fact, this one doesn't even use two 8 pins. So. That's pretty impressive and uh, yeah of course if you have more money you go for the 1070 and get that extra FPS as long as you don't mind spending more money. So um, yeah I guess that's the conclusion, uh, but it's, that's an awesome card, this is an awesome card, that's a, they're all awesome cards, that's the best value for money one so yeah go for that one if you want it, if not don't. Um, so yeah, I hope you enjoyed the video, hope you found it useful uh, and informative and enjoyable to watch. Um, if you did feel free to subscribe and like, uh, if you got any uh, qualms with my testing feel free to leave that in the uh, comments down below, as I'm sure you will, and uh, yeah, otherwise, thanks for watching, hope you enjoyed the video, um, feel free to check out my Amazon affiliate link, by the way, if you uh, want to, you know, pick up any of these cards or anything else, it'd be awesome if you do that, it genuinely helps me keep these lights on and uh, keep that camera filming in my face, so yeah, take that as a winner or lose, but uh, yeah, thanks for watching, we'll see you in the next one.